Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save images and retrieve images from MongoDB database using ASP.NET MVC application. I'm going to use uh, .NET 8 framework and Visual Studio 2022. Now, before we get started with this video, I would like to inform everybody that before you watch this video and if you are new to MongoDB database, there are two videos in my channel which is ASP.NET Core MVC MongoDB and ASP.NET Core MVC MongoDB database tutorial. Now in the first video that is ASP.NET Core MVC, I am actually showing you how to set up like basically uh, set up a MongoDB database and how to run certain commands and in my second video actually I have go gone through the entire crude operation and I have created an application where you can actually add update delete records. Uh, from uh, MongoDB database using ASP.NET MVC application. Now, in the third video, which is this one, I'm going to show you how to do the crawl operation, which is already done, but I'll also upgrade it and show you how to save and retrieve images from MongoDB database. So, this is a project which where it is um, that I created last time, where I had installed the MongoDB and connected to the MongoDB database. Now, uh, just to uh, ensure that you now properly download the mongodb version which i am using so here is the location uh, url that is uh, mongodb.com slash try slash download dot community i'll just show you guys so when i downloaded the site um, it was couple of months back and now the site is upgraded so i don't want you to watch those videos and get confused so this is a url this is a page now when you scroll down there is two version community server and try mongodb atlas Okay, so the MongoDB Atlas is a cloud-based solution, uh, whereas um, you can also use that. But I've used Community Server and I've clicked on Select Package and I've selected the Windows uh, version. So I've installed it, and once you install it, you also get a um, UI Compass UI, which is a graphical user interface for working with MongoDB database. If you don't wish to work on the command line, so if I just type in MongoDB. So here yeah, there is MongoDB Compass. So this I've got installed, which is uh, mobile devices. So here you can see when the UI is open, it will try to connect. So this is a connection URL MongoDB slash localhost, and this is the port that it is listening. So once I connect, it gets successfully connect, and this is a database mobile store, and this is a mobile device document. Right now it has uh, no fields and data which we will add it right now so if you go to a project which i had created here if you go to app um, settings json you can see connection string as mongodb localhost which i just showed and this is a database uh, mobile store okay so you can see that it is there mobile uh, store the, uh, the database is there now here i am going to add some records so this is a project that i had created i'll just quickly add one record and then we'll proceed with upgrading it to and giving the option to add images here you can see we have name company color and cost i'll just create one so name is apple Com uh, sorry so name is iphone xr and uh, it's apple color is black and cost is some okay so once i create you see the records is created you can also see the details and you can go back and you can, you can also edit it and and you can also delete it so if you go to our compass and if you just refresh you'll see under mobile device there is one document added okay now what we need to do is upgrade this uh, project program and code where we will want to add the images so assuming i also want to upload the uh, mobile image so <clears throat> i will also walk you through the code once so that um we can you just relate to what i'm saying so here i had created so first i created uh, the connection string in the database in the app setting and in the program files we have not much um, made some changes uh, and then we have created a data uh, mobile store uh, db context where actually we are uh, creating a, a mongodb uh, instance so here we have actually downloaded the package also so all this is there available in the previous videos so i just want to uh, just go through quickly so this is a packages that is installed it's a 
mongo you can see it's mongo db driver package is installed so and then typically in my controller actually i have created methods to list is the devices and then create a new object and store the new document edit and then finally delete okay so now let's go ahead and uh, create routine to add images into our database so the first step we are going to do is we are going to go to the controller a mobile device controller and um, and we are going to add the code in create post okay so currently what is happening in create post is whenever you add any record your mobile data any mobile data uh, device entity as a record which passes and creates an object as i show it to you once so you click on home and uh, here you can I just delete this record once and then i'll create one more record I'll just add anything as of now and if you see when i click the mobile device this is an entity that i've created in the model if you go to model there is mobile device entity which has the following fields properties so now if you can see the object contains those values which i entered and it will simply uh, call a db contest like the database connection string and say create and pass the object now we also need to pass the image so let's write the routine to do that so first we are going to do is that we are going to update the model so we'll go to mobile device entity and add a property property string and we are going to call this as image okay this is my first step we are going to do then we are going to the going to go to the control view and uh, mobile device view uh, and here in the create we are going to modify it and accept the user to allow the user to select the image so i'm just going to copy the last and cost paste it and here instead of cost it will be image and this is also image we don't uh, require that it has to be mandatory so we just make this change but here input is not text box but input type will be file second important thing we need to do this is the second thing we change that we need to do third is that in the form object we need to add this enc type i'm just going to delete it and again add it enc type is multi-part and form data if you don't add this tag it will not pass the image object to the controller so this is the third step we need to do now we will go to the mobile device controller and add the code over there so here I'm going to add a, a parameter called iform file and I name it as image which should be the same name that I gave to the pro model property as well as mobile device C same name we should be over here <clears throat> now before we call the create we need to also ensure that we are passing the image and base 64 so for that we are going to add the code so first we are going to check whether it is empty so we say if image is not not equals to null okay then what are we going to do is create a memory stream object this is a new memory stream then we're going to call the iphone file image dot open read stream and copy it to the memory stream object then we are going to use mobile data which is this one the object variable and set the image property to convert to base 64 and pass the memory stream dot to array okay so this is how we set the image property else we are going to say mobile dot image is empty that's it. this is a piece of code we need to write uh, to ensure that image is getting passed now let us go ahead and so this is a, a base routine that i have done so now i'm going to run the application
I added a breakpoint. So now I click on home and then I click on create and I'm going to say apple and C iPhone 14 or in color black and cause something. Now here you can see I got an option to select the image. I'm going to select the image and I'm going to desktop phones and here I'm going to select this picture and click on create. So here you can see uh, it is passing the image data. Yes, it is. And it also has the data. So now uh, here the image tag is null. Now we are going to set that image over here. So it is not null. So it will come inside and then it's memory object. And then we assign the image to it. Now if you can see in the mobile data property object, we can see the image is having base64 data. Now it is going to create it. It is successfully created. And it will redirect to index. However, now we are not able to see the image because we are not written the code in the index to in the list to display the image. Let us go to our console, uh, UI console, a localhost uh, mobile um, MongoDB compass. And here you can see there is one object. I am going to now refresh it. The moment I refresh, I should be able to see. Yes, here you can see the image is added successfully. Now we will write a small line of code in our index page. I'll remove the breakpoint and I'll just take this and come to our index. So here, this is our index and here I'm going to display it. So after cost, I'm going to just add one empty edit. And below here, I'm going to add td tag. And here, I'm going to write code to display the image. So this will be, since we need to display the image, this will be image tag and this will be having source. Now here we are going to, if you notice in our compass UI, this is a base64 database. Now that is the reason we can't simply call the SR source tag and uh, give it a name as um, you know, item dot image. This will not display the image. This will in fact display the uh, base64 string. So let us if you want, I'll just show it to you once so that you have better understanding. So I'm just going to write this code and run the project. Okay. If you store your, your image URL path, then you could simply give the name of the property and it will it could have been displayed. But if you notice here, you can see it is not displaying anything. So now let us uh, correct this code and, uh, and it can be corrected by writing data okay semicolon image flag jpg semicolon base 64 comma and now we pass now here we can also set up the style so we can say i this 50 pixel as of now and width is 50 pixel as of now okay so this is this is how we need to write a line of code in our razor page to display base64 as an image in the razor view okay so let's run now and we should be able to see our image so i click on the home which will fetch all the images here you can see so image is still not displayed now let me just troubleshoot what is the problem ideally it should have been displayed it let me go to the mobile device home controller and go to index get all this will be getting all the records okay Let's click point and go to our index page again and just examine this piece of code. Image source. Okay, so it's just yeah, this uh, mistake over here and then semicolon and then basic. So this is just a small 
typo error okay and now let's run the project i'm sure it should be able to display now when i click on home and here you can see i am able to see the images if you want to make the changes then and see the image resolution you can do that so i can just increase it to 80 uh, for me i think so the uh, i can increase the width also okay now you just click on the odd reload you should load it yeah you can see you can see the image is now being visible i'll just increase the height also and i'm going to save and click on the auto reload and you should be able to load it so here you can see i'll add one more record now let me select one more image <coughs> here this one and click on create here you can see i am able to see the second image as well so this is how you need to um, you know, save images and display that into in your front end so guys uh, this is a short video and i've shown you how to uh, save, work with images in mongodb uh, save and retrieve images in mongodb um, if you like the videos uh, please do comment and uh, like my videos uh, please do subscribe my channel and share my channel link with your friend family and colleague and help us to grow our digital tech drawing channel thank you so much